Hello and welcome. My name is Miracle. This is a pronunciation workshop. It is my last class of the day and we are going to be reading. It really depends on who comes to class, if anyone comes to class. Um, if no one comes in, then I will just do, I'll find an article and, and read it. Um, if students come in, it depends on their level. For instance, if they are brand new to pronunciation before they read, I really prefer that they do an overview, a review of their vowel sounds. If I have not seen them at all during the day, then I want them to do a warm-up and get their throat and their mouth in shape so that they can use their mouths more like the way more along the lines of the way that Americans use their voices. Um, a common mistake <clears throat> that people make <clears throat> with pronunciation is just thinking that it is a matter of, say it like me, porcupine. You know, I say porcupine. And then the person is from some other country and they can't move their mouth the way that we do or they don't know what we're doing. Porcupine, porcupine. You can't open, shape, and round. So when you do certain exercises, it helps you to make a smoother, rounder sound. Um, you really have to get a feel for English. You do not get a feel for English simply by repeating after the teacher. Paper, paper, paper. You've got airflow there. You've got openness. You've got roundness. You've got shape you've got a number of things going on depending on which country they are from they may be tensing they may be tensing they may be tensing or tensing or tensing you really have to understand um, where where the person is coming from and what their approach to speaking is so pronunciation is a lot of fun and if you get a specialist then you can get some really good results with it and that is my specialty so it depends on who comes into class what we will be working on I don't see anyone right now so what I'm going to do is go on and read there is this article that we were looking at earlier today it was really cool and I'm going to go back to it because I want to read more about this one second There we go. This is the one that we had. So let me share my screen. And okay. So we were looking at this earlier and it was quite fascinating. It's pretty good information. So you've We've all heard of the wonders of the world. Uh, out. We've heard of them, but we don't know very much about them. Um, some of them are wonders because we don't know anything about them. The only one that is remaining, and we learned that earlier today, the only one that is remaining of the original seven is the Great Pyramid of Giza and we actually do not know much about this one either so they really are wonders they are mysteries confusing uh, because it, it baffles our minds how people were able to build some of these these things how they were able to construct them what manpower they used, what methodologies they used we just don't know and so it's pretty fascinating okay so we read about the great pyramid of Giza and we read about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a little bit about the catacombs, the Greek catacombs, and the porcelain tower. Nope, we didn't read about this one. I want to know what this is. I've seen this in many video games, and I've never really known what that is. Okay. Let's see. Hagia Sophia from the Greek, Holy Wisdom, 
Latin, Sancta Sophia. Um, I hear someone. Hi, Garrett. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Pretty good. Why do you sound so tired? You are too young to sound tired. <laughs> Actually, you know, my uh, internet connection is not going well, and I was trying to fix it, so I'm fed up. Uh, well, it's working now. Be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Garrett. Hey, don't forget we re-record Albert at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the week. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Did I tell you that I played your, um, I told you that I listened to your audio and I was um, playing it for, um, for another student. We were reviewing some of the sounds from other students and the, the person knows my other students and they said, I don't, because they've watched the videos, and they said, that doesn't sound like Garrett's because they've seen you in many classes. They're like, that, that doesn't sound like Garrett's because they know how you sound now but they forgot how you sounded earlier. So they heard your earlier one, and then they heard you now, and they're like, no, that's not the same person. You have the wrong video, the wrong audio. I was like, no, this is Garrett's from, you know, five, six weeks ago. It's good. Yes, it is. They didn't even recognize you. Okay. Very good, <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the week, we'll do it again. Uh, you have an uh, end writing? Because I don't have, I can't practice. What? Do you have Albert Einstein in uh, writing form? No, don't practice that. Oh my God, no. No, don't practice that. No, 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 no. Practice your sounds. Practice your phonetics. When you practice, um, like if you were to take Albert and practice it, you would practice, 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 and you would also be practicing bad habits. So oh. you read it, read it, read it, and there are many things that you were doing wrong, but the more you read it, the more your brain thinks, yes, I am practicing well, oh, this is good, this is good. And so you end up learning bad habits along the way. Yeah, actually what happened is I sometimes forget um, <clears throat> sound, sometimes I forget uh, punctuation or... Uh, uh, short eye, long eye, many things I have to maintain at, a one, at, at once. Yes, but it's okay because when you walk through my process, you make changes. You're not perfect every six weeks. You make progress every six weeks. So focus on the things that I'm working on with you. Don't try to do more. Just focus on the things I'm asking you to do because that's going to give you openness, roundness, clarity, correct vowels that's enough for six weeks that's a lot for six weeks you don't need more and airflow you don't need more than that in six weeks Michael where yeah. can uh, I be perfect <laughs> <laughs> when can I should say when can I be perfect it really depends on how much you are practicing and let me say perfect even I'm not perfect oh, God. so Okay, so don't worry about perfection. I think what you're talking about is when can you start fooling people and having them go, wait, you sound like an American sometimes. You, yeah. you know, you're. Yeah. That's probably about two years, Garrett. Really? Oh, it's very long time. Yes, but here's the thing. When I say two years, I mean in two years, that's when people start going, did you grow up in America? You sound really, you sound like an American sometimes. But the good thing is, after six months, people start going, your English is really clear. Where did you study? How long have you studied? Wow. After a year, people start saying, I only hear a very small accent with you. You sound amazing. So it's not that you have to wait two years before you get really good results. It's just two years before you get to the point where people say, I thought you were American for a moment. I really uh, did. Yeah. I thought you were American. <laughs> but don't worry. There's no such thing as perfection. Because America has, uh, American English has too many accents. You know, there, there's no such thing as perfection. 
but it is possible when I take your classes regularly, right? It is. I actually would recommend an hour a day of study. Um, some students, you know, everyone is not able to do that, but if you do an hour a day, yeah, you will have absolutely amazing English within two years. I promise you that. A day I have to practice a vowel sound or my reading? No, 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 no. You, you need assistance. You need to practice with someone. You need a teacher. You can't do that on your own. Garrett, okay. don't you speak Arabic? You speak uh, yeah, Arabic. I, I, okay. Is it possible for me to study Arabic on my own and speak like a native in two years? Uh, no, um, but if you have some record recordings or... No? Okay. Because you have intonation, you have patterns, you have shape. Yeah. You have linking. Hi, Sergio. You have lots of things that need to be discussed. And if you're not a child, children can do it. But as an adult, you do not listen to recordings and sound like a native. Children do that, not adults. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I like uh, children uh, learn sound first, I think. Then, then they speak. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And children aren't afraid to make mistakes. So they make yeah. mistakes and we laugh at them and they keep going. They don't care. Yeah. You know, like um, my brother used to say, um, my brother used to say this. I thought it was so funny. My feet hurt. <laughs> you know, and I would laugh. I'm like, you don't put an S on that. He didn't care. You know, kids don't care. They just yeah. practice and then they go on. But adults, they go, Oh, I said it wrong. I have to be careful. I'm so afraid. Let me be nervous now. I'm going to be nervous all the time. You can't learn like that. You have to be yeah. free. Yeah. Mm. There's also a progression when it comes to pronunciation. The um, And the system that I developed, it has four levels to it. The first thing that we do is we teach you the sounds. So all of the sounds and the alphabet, the English alphabet. And then the second step is you learn how to pronounce the sounds. The third step is you learn how to shape the sounds. And then the fourth step is you perfecting them. So it's a two-year program for me. I finally got the system, like I finally yeah. set it up so that it works. But that's how we break it up. And it's about two years for the average person. Some people are able to come in and do it a lot faster. My 17-year-old, my 12-year-old, I don't know if you saw that picture on Facebook, the 12-year-old from Russia? Uh, no. He's incredible. He's oh. going to sound like a native in about uh, a year and a half. Wow. Yeah. He's incredible. He's going to sound like a native. But he practices two hours a day. Two hours a day. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's go on and read. Sergio, welcome back. That was a great class last time. We talked about art and what isn't art. Sergio, I did not know that you were so deep. You're such a sensitive person. I didn't know that until the last, cl last class. You are very smart. About art of course that I, I am um, because art is the everything I mean art uh, <coughs> I mean I like art I mean I have uh, some paintings here just copies of some paintings here and I like art I think art really reflects the people's mind so some people's mind of course so <laughs> to take care and uh, some people, uh, what you see in their minds, you really don't want to see. Yeah, and I think that the real battle of uh, <clears throat> maybe some poli political political changes, and most of them are the real ground battle is in art. This is what it, I think. The real battleground. The real battleground is in art. If art, if art change, even politics change. I think you're right. 
I never thought about that before, but that makes sense. Wow. And you can see it in history, like with the um the political drawings. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. You're absolutely right. Yes, generally speaking, that's my theory. Art goes some stays steps steps um of forward to to art to politics. So art goes always beyond politics because people first of all they have to think, they draw or they write and mm -hmm. then politics change. So you have to Wow, you're absolutely right. That is incredible. I like that. I have a lot to think about today. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I decided to go back to this um the seven wonders. Uh, there were so many that we didn't get to read about. So I wanted to read about the seven wonders a little bit more. It's the last Michael, class uh, of the day. Yes. Michael, what is the nose nose? What? The nose nose. Oh. <laughs> um, it's an idiom that... I think it, it refers to, well, definitely a sense of smell, but I think it refers to dogs, like hunting dogs. So, like, if you go out and you're hunting for foxes or rabbits or whatever, where is the rabbit? Well, the nose knows, like your brain doesn't know, but the no, the dog smells. And so the dog will smell until it finds the rabbit or the fox or whatever. So where is the animal? The nose knows. And uh, I think people are starting to use it. People have been using it in more ways than hunting. But I can tell you honestly, I have never used that idiom. No, you have, you have uh, used in your, this class, nasal or not, the nose knows, in pronunciation workshop. Yeah, today's class topic is that. Yeah, you can see. Okay, spell it. Spell it. I'm misunderstanding something. Like, uh, we are learning in this class. The class topic is pronunciation workshop, right? About oh, I didn't put that in there. I didn't put that in there. What they are doing, guys, is they are they are trying to transition the um the they're trying to have because I'm leaving, so they're trying to have they're trying to put more pronunciation in and so they have set up these classes but I do pronunciation my way so uh, I, what they wrote I didn't bother with that I do pronunciation so I didn't put that in there they put that in there but okay, I, I, I know what I'm doing I <laughs> oh Sergio believe me <laughs> 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 it's, yeah. a <laughs> it's a done deal. It's a done. But you know, Sergio, I'm still around. Sergio, you know, here. Where are you? You're still there. I don't know. I didn't see you here. This is my project. Guys, pronunciation is my life. It is my life. So I'm not I'm not stopping pronunciation. I'm just leaving Colingo. So um, I am still taking students on the side and doing some other things. So if you guys want to study with me, come on. Well, I mean, you know, you can stay with Colingo too, but but you can study pronunciation with me if you want. It's up to you. But I'm still doing pronunciation. And Sergio, I just sent you the link. Garrett already knows about it. Um, okay, guys. Yes. Uh, no, I can't see your link in the chat box. Mm -mm, I didn't put it in the chat box. I sent it to Sergio. But you already have it, Garrett. You're on the website. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have. yeah you're already there. Okay, here we go. You know, um, Sergio, I don't know if you heard, they actually said that the students didn't want to learn pronunciation, like my style of, of teaching pronunciation. Um, when they decided to end my classes, I said, did you ask the students? And I was told, yes, we did. And basically it was explained to me that the students aren't interested in studying pronunciation the way that I teach it. So they are developing their own pronunciation, and they decided to end mine, which so, is really uh, interesting. This is rubbish, totally rubbish. This is my 
Of opinion. course it is. Of course it of is. Of course it is. Of course it is. You know, if you want to learn pronunciation, you have to go to the basics, as you as you did, as, as you have done, to the to the how to code the words, the the soft palate and everything and the, mm -hmm. the tongue. So this is the basics. So if people, that's the problem. People want to <clears throat> learn pronunciation in one week, two weeks. It takes time. It mm -hmm. depends where you come from and uh, where are you. Yes. Isn't so, your approach different from Ursula's? You don't have the same problems that Ursula has with from, pronunciation. From Garrett's. Yes. From, Garrett, from Ursula and from uh, Marcos. Everything mm -hmm. changed. So they don't take care. They don't care about that. They are your, I don't know. This is my opinion. They, mm -hmm. all the, they are very simple mind and mind person excuse me mm. you're a very simple mind person this Daniel that wrote me some some emails very simple mind person mm. okay they have this project and everything but at the end this is the big this is the big project of pronunciation this is my opinion you are the first one that really go to the to the to the truth you know to the tongue to the soft palate, and this is the this is the really the the really uh, the really end of the of the question. How do you pronounce English correctly? As you mm -hmm. said, round. How is round? It's a round shape. And air. Yes. Yes. And everybody's roundness is different. Everybody shapes differently. It's an art. It's not just it's not just a matter of saying, repeat after me, Sergio, complicate it. You know, and then you repeat after me and I expect you to say it properly. Don't what let are me, the don't, individual sounds? Don't let me do that because you know I have a Spanish pronunciation. <laughs> I you know every word pronunciation. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes, before you said pronunciation, something like that. Very yeah. good. Very good. So, Listen, guys, for me, um, it doesn't make sense to Well, it does make sense to me because I, I understand, you know, sometimes people do things. It depends on your motivation. My motivation is I love my work and I love my students. So the things that I do, I'm motivated by my love for my work and my love for my students and that's what drives me and I think it shows in my actions so I don't understand what other people's motivations are and I really don't care but what I do care about is this work and I think it's going to be amazing when people all over the world start to have the freedom of speaking English without fear you know and with confidence that yeah. is what I'm that's what I'm working toward I want people to have that freedom and it's going to happen. It is happening. You guys, sure. every couple of weeks, every Please. couple of weeks you guys record don't, and it's like, oh my god. Don't leave us. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. But you know, it's it's obvious when you're wanted and it's obviously obvious when you're not. So I need to be with my students who want this. They Their belief is that the students don't want this. I don't know of any students that they asked. Did they ask you guys? I never were. I I, ne I never was asked. You know, this is mm -hmm. as all. Uh, you know, you like conspiracy. Conspiracy. This is just. Uh, you are the best one. You are the best like, one. Um, Miracle, nobody teaches pronunciation at Kalinga except you because you know already. So you 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 have never asked at Kalinga that who teaches except you. Yeah. Um, what they did was they started bringing more teachers in. They hired new teachers and they got them to watch my classes so that they could learn from me. And they have, you can see like in today's lesson, they broke down, they, they used some of the things that I've been covering, but it's some of the basic things that you can get from Google or, you know, online, some of the basic things. But nope, there's never really been a conversation about it, except to let me know that the students don't want uh, to learn pronunciation with me. That's what basically what I was told. The students don't want to learn pronunciation with you. We ask them, but it's funny because every time I say that, the students go, they didn't ask me. They never asked me that. They just got rid of you. 
they just got rid of your classes rather but nope they never asked me never did and you know what I'm probably going to have some sort of backlash because of this conversation so don't be surprised I don't know what's going to happen we are 30 minutes in and um, I don't think that they will think very kindly of this conversation but I'm not too worried about it so whatever happens happens and we'll see <laughs> We'll see, but I'm sure that um, right now there are seven people watching, and I'm sure that this conversation will. It's either getting to them right now, or maybe, it's maybe going to. Let me let me ask you something. If somebody want to want to maybe drop me off of calling, maybe it's Daniel looking at this conversation. Daniel was one of the founders of calling, and I want to say to whoever is listening to Daniel's this. Daniel's not a founder. Daniel was a teacher. Okay. Daniel and because Daniel has always replies to my my emails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to say this one. <clears throat> it takes time. It takes time to get a natural native English, <clears throat> na uh, a native speaking pronunciation. It takes time. So we have to. This is the best method that I found, and I have found. And I, I'm, I'm going to make very different methods. This is the best one. So I would like to say you that uh, anything that happens, uh, you are the best one. You are so careful. You are so, so, I mean, when you go to other teachers, they only said, okay, you are okay, you are all right. They don't take yeah. care. They say, okay, Garrett, am I right or am I wrong? They say, okay, you pronounce well. You pronounce well. Yeah. But they don't care about pronunciation. The only person in this colingo system is you. You take care. And okay, it takes time, and some people don't like that. What do you think about that, Robert? <laughs> Maybe she didn't understand you. Garrett? What? Yes. She didn't understand you. Yes. <laughs> he said it takes time. What do you yeah. think about that? Do you agree that it takes time to learn pronunciation? Correct pronunciation. I agree. Yeah. But it's doable. It's doable. Mm. Okay, guys, I appreciate your support, and this conversation was lovely. I do appreciate it because it, it's nice to know that the students do care when the company thinks that the students don't. So I appreciate your comments. I really do. Okay, we'll see what kind of backlash, you guys know what backlash is, what types of um, uh, consequences there will be from this conversation. We will see what happens. <laughs> but again, I'm not too worried. Okay, here we go. Do you know about this one, um, Sergio? Hagia Sophia? Do you know about this? I saw it in a video game that I was playing, but I don't know anything about it. Mm, actually, I visited Aga Sophia um, 15 years ago. I visited. Aga you did? Sophia. Yes, I did. I went to Turkey and I visited in Istanbul Aga Agia Sophia. Yeah. Okay, well, let's read about it, and then I want yeah. to hear about your experience because I I don't know anything about it. Um, Gareth, let me get you to start, please. Let me okay. see, where do we start here? Uh, this is, huh, okay. Yep, please read. From, okay. Here. Mm -hmm. Hagia Sophia from the Greek. Um, holy, holy wisdom. wisdom. Mm -hmm. Holy wisdom. Latin, uh, Sancta Sophia or Sancta, no, Turkish is a former Greek Orthodox but what it is an English word <laughs> you are so cute yes this is a long A okay we can't uh, get it long A hey long uh-huh Petri Arshu that's going to sound like a K I can't highlight it because it's a link I'm sorry it's the CH sounds like a K Okay, patriarchal. You go, girl. That's awesome. It means mm -hmm. um, patriarch means uh, like the the man leads, 
So, you know, you have like a patriarchal society, the societies where the men lead, and then you have a matriarchal society, the societies where the women lead. Oh. So patriarchal means that men are the leaders. Okay. Patriarchal Bethlehem got church, a later an imperial mosque, and now a museum in Istanbul, Turkey from the, from the date of its construction in 537 until 1453, it served as an Eastern Orthodox cathedral, cathedral and see cathedral, long E. Cathedral, cathedral, uh -huh. and seat of the Patriarchate uh, of Patriarchate of Constantinople. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> it was like a hard stepping stone. <laughs> yes, but you, what you are doing? Oh my God! Oh my God! What you are doing is. You have done so many phonetics classes, you are somehow in your head dividing the syllables. And so yeah. instead of trying to read one long word, you are saying Constantinople. You are actually doing the syllables as you speak. That is awesome. Yeah, just because of you. <laughs> that is awesome. Good job. Keep going. Thank you. Except between 1204 or 1204. And 1200, well, except between 1204. 1204 and 1261, when it was converted to a Roman Catholic cathedral, cathedral under... That's a long the, E, so you need... Gati. This is going to be um, a schwa. Oh. Mm, cathedral. Wait, wait, wait. What is your schwa? What is your schwa, schwa sound like? Uh, uh. And then this is the the syllable that gets emphasis, and it has a long e. Okay. G cathedral. Excellent! Go oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Okay, cathedral under the Latin Empire. The building was a mosque from 29 May 1453 until 1931. It was then secular, um, secular, uh, secular, uh, secularized. Good job. Okay, okay, okay. You're driving me crazy. This is insane. I just have to say, you were afraid to read like a month ago. You would like read very slowly. You weren't confident. What you were doing is amazing. Um, Sergio, she has the 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 phonetics classes that we have where we before we do phonetics, we break the words into syllables, and then we find the emphasis, and then we do phonetics. So she has been coming to those, and she's going from, you know, trying to say the whole word at once to reading and somehow naturally breaking up the syllables the way a native would. That is really awesome. I think so. Basically, the, 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 the backbone of the system is, is, is vowels, you know. This mm -hmm. is the backbone, vowels. And I think that Garrett has, has made a really great job, job because she speaks and she sings very well. But... Um, the backbone of the system is vowels. Mm -hmm. If you master vowels, you know, like uh, consonants are like uh, smalls added to the vowels. If you don't master vowels, you are you are lost. Yeah, were you you were one of the people who wanted me to teach consonants in the beginning, weren't you? Weren't you one of the ones who would say, "Can you teach me how to say this consonant and that consonant?" At the beginning, I believe. And mm -hmm. consonants were very important. For instance, the th, the z, the z, yeah. z, my favorite, z. <laughs> but at the end, I, at the beginning, at the beginning, okay, you say the beginning, okay, see. Say, you. in, in the beginning. 
in the um, see you in the beginning. <clears throat> I didn't. Um, okay, again, I didn't trust your your system and yeah. say why she insists so much in vowels. <laughs> and nowadays, I discover after three months, four months, I discover vowels are everything. Are the the not the backbone? Are the flesh of the backbone? Yeah. Let's say the backbone is consonants, and the flesh is is vowel. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I like what that the, analogy. What does makes movement are the vowels. What the makes consist consistency are consonants. What makes consistency? What makes consistency as a, a skeleton is 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 it it's uh, it's uh, con is consonants. What when you say consistency, are you talking about the um, the form of the body? Yes. The, the, um, yes. What makes what makes this is just an idea that I have now. What makes consistency is the, the the form, you know, of the language in itself. The form of the language in itself is made like uh, consonants. Consonants are the hard bones because they are the the ka ka good, you know. And then what makes the movement of the body of the language body are vowels. So there are two main parts of the any kind of language. There are the vowels, that means mm, movement, as you said, air, flow, and there are so the hard ones, you know, hard ones, the key, the th, the j, that I love, the j. No, <laughs> these, are the, these are the hard ones, and how can I explain in a body metaphor? Metaphor is like, these are the, the bones. The skeleton of the body. I tied it for you. That I think that's what you're saying. The ske the bones, the structure, the 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 thing that gives you form. Yeah, this is an idea that I just come up pop up, you know. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought of uh you know trying to put it in an analogy, the the vowels versus the consonants. But it it's working. It's awesome to see it working because Garrett has only been here about 2 months. Garrett, is that right? Is it two months? Uh, one, one, one month. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's really good, Garrett. Okay, let's go back. I'm not even really interested in the article. I'm just interested in your sounds at this point. Really. Okay, finish reading this, and then I want Sergio to read, please. Garrett. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, um, it is. I have already. I think I have read. No. Did you? No, I don't think so. Okay, the building was a mosque from. <gasps> mosque. You did read a part of that. I'm sorry. Yes, you did. You did. But go ahead. Mosque, not mosque. Mosque. No, no, from not mosque. 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 Uh huh. Mosque. From 29 May. Uh, 1453 until 1931, it was then secularized and opened as a museum on 1st February 1935. We would probably say the 1st of February 1935, but this is um, written with a European style date. Americans would say February 1st, 1935, but when they put the one in front, we would say the 1st of February, 1935, yeah. from the 29th of May, 1453, until 1931. Okay. Interesting. Okay, Sergio, let's get you to read, and this is a long section. You can skip all of the Greek words. All of those Greek symbols. I want to learn Greek one day. When you study history, do you learn Greek at all, Sergio? No, we. I studied history. We learned some Latin words, some basic Greek words, you know. But uh, no, we don't learn so. No. You have mm. to be very specialized in Greek or Latin. 
Latin. No, we do, you just some some basic words. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it says like a, it says like a, the church church was dedicated to the wisdom of God. The logos, the second person of the Holy Trinity. It's patronal feast. Feast. Patronal. 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 How do we say this? Hold on, I'm not sure. You, you see, I'm guessing. <laughs> Hold on. And this is exactly what I do as a native when I don't know. I'm not sure where the where the emphasis goes. And do you mean? Do you do you make mistakes? Oh, absolutely. I just made three. I said patronal, patronal. Yeah, I'm not sure. So what I want to do is, ah, patronal. Patronal, see. okay. They don't have the... Patron. Yeah, but they don't have patronal. I think it's going to be patronal. Yeah, I make mistakes too, guys, because we don't know, for instance, like, is that going to be a long A or a schwa or a short A? Is this going to be um, a long O or short O or schwa? Is this a schwa or a short A? We don't know. And then where does the emphasis go? We have three syllables. Pa, pe, tra, no. And you don't know where the emphasis goes if it's a new word. So yes, I absolutely go to dictionary.com and I look it up. Absolutely. It's patronal feast. Patronal feast taking place on 25th December. Mm -hmm. The it's, it's a it's, it's, how do you call it? It's a comma comma. Uh no. Um, this word has several syllables. This is going to be your schwa. Mm. Schwa right. sound. It's hard. It's a very long word. I know. Con that's why we're going to do one <laughs> syllable at a time. <coughs> the the con commemorations? No, I don't yes, know. Yes, sort of. I but hold on. One syllable at a time. Schwa? The con... con ah, it's impossible. This no, is it's very... not. No, I'm going to show you. Trust me. You have to trust me. Okay, just make your schwa sound. Con... con commemoration? Stop! Make your schwa sound. Okay, look at this symbol. Where is it? Look at this symbol. Mm. Uh, son, son. Okay. Uh, uh, come. No, no, no! You have to stop trying to say the word. You have to stop trying to say the word. Um, short E. E. O R sound. Or. Long A sound. A. And schwa. Chan. Okay, listen. A uh, E. Just follow me. I'm going to get you to say this word. You'll get it. Uh, eh. Oh, eh. Or a eh, ah. Or a eh, ah. Listen to my ear. Or a eh, ah. Or a eh, ah. Or a eh, ah. Or a mm -mm. Uh, You're making this too short. Or or a a a a a a a a or a a or a a. This is too short. You have to make it longer. Or a ah. Or a ah. Come m. Come m. Moration. Moration. Commemoration. Commemoration. 
You got it. No, you see, I have to have you are my teacher all the time. No, you don't. This is no. the proof. This is the proof. <laughs> if they are looking for some proof, this is what. No, they don't care about that. They, yeah, I know, they got I know, something I know, else I know. going on. But I know. you really need to keep your air going. And when you're listening to native speakers, don't just listen to the sound. Listen to the rhythm. Yeah. Because when you change the rhythm, that means an accent. For instance, if I say, Hola, ¿cómo estás? You know? Yeah. Oh my God, you just want you want to tell me to shut up, cállate. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell me that. It sounds horrible. You can't change the rhythm. Listen to the sounds, but also hear the rhythm. Commemoration. So, <clears throat> it's Garrett's time, I think so. No, are you kidding me? Garrett said all of this right here. Garrett said all of that. No, she didn't. Garrett? Did you? She did. She read all of this. No. Yeah, yeah. I have done it. She did. Come on, keep reading. <laughs> what Come happened? on, Sergio. Sergio's oh. getting shy now. She already read. She read all of this. <clears throat> okay, what? Okay, can. Commemoration. Commemoration. Good. Keep going. Of the birth of the incarnation. Nice. Of the logos in, in Christ. Uh huh, very good. Also, uh -huh. some, sometimes. Refer to as Santa Santa Sofia, Santa Sofia, as though it were named after Saint Sofia, Sofia, being the phonetic spelling in Latin, Latin, Latin of uh, the Greek word. Do you say Latin, Latin? Um, we say Latin. Latin. Latin, Latin. There's, there's a sound I haven't taught you guys um, because it's a little tricky. There's a, uh, listen, I do it in my throat. Latin. Latin. Yeah, but I don't say lat. I say Latin. Latin. Um, spell it in Latin mm -hmm. of the Greek. No, no, you can't do both. You can't say lat and e. You you do one or the other. So Latin. So let me show you. I don't know if I can teach it right now because it's really weird. E e e e, e. Latin Latin. E e e e e e e e, e. Latin. 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 Huh? Latin. Latin. Mm -hmm. uh, not tin. So if you want to do the T, then say Latin. Latin. But if you want to do this uh sound, and we use it a lot, Latin. Latin. No, it's not. It's difficult. Don't worry. It's really strange. And I don't think you should learn it yet. Because you need to really continue your shape on the inside of your mouth. Don't worry. Just say the T. Latin. Latin. Uh-huh. What do we call this technique? I have no idea. It's a glottal sound. Glottal means throat. Can you say that? Uh, Garrett, can you say that? Latin. I try. Latin. Yeah, that's it. I, 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 I. Try try doing that, um, Sergio. I, 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 I. No, I can't. I, 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 you cannot say can't in my class. You can't do that. In Latin. A e. Lat a e. A e. A. 
A A A A A A Latin Latin Not La E Lat N But you are doing Lat Lat mm. La In Lat N La La In In La La In In La In La In Latin Latin You're still trying to do the lat like that? La e la e la e la e You know the problem is that I'm thinking in Spanish, you know, and just I see a T and I have to pronounce the T. Why? Latin, Latin, Latin. It, is it T sound here or not? Yeah, it's Latin. You can say Latin if you want. I told you, you can say that. You can say that. But you will hear us do a glottal sound. Is it T sound? Um, Gary, it's what I'm showing you. Is it? It's called a glottal sound, guys. It's called a glottal. It, 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 it means of the throat. No, she didn't. Didn't. Latin. You see it? Um... We use it sometimes. You don't necessarily need to learn it. It can help you to sound a little smoother, but you can say Latin, Latin, and just make it a very light T. That's fine. I have heard um, mostly British do that, I think. No. We do it for some words. We don't do it as much as the British do. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, we do it for some things. It's usually a T sound. I'm trying to think of some other words. Uh, oh, we say gotten. <laughs> gotten? Yeah. It has gotten really cold in here. We don't say it has gotten. It has gotten really cold in here. It's gotten really cold in here. Gotten, gotten, gotten. We say cotton. No, often. The T is just silent there. We say often. And some teacher reads often. Yes, but there's not a glottal sound for that word. Okay. Don't worry about this, guys. This is much more advanced, and it's not necessary. You don't need it to sound natural. You need vowels more. So just say cotton, gotten, glottal, Latin. It's fine. Yeah, but it's good that you tell everything. Mm, yeah, but you don't need to learn everything at once. It can be a little bit confusing. And right now, Sergio is working on his j and ch and his openness in his air and his r's. You see, he's working on many things at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we are at the end. Do you guys have any questions? What a strange class. This was a little different. Again, I'll probably hear about it. They do watch my classes. I'm sure I'll hear about it or there will be some sort of repercussion or something, but whatever. So, But it was good. You guys, I'm very proud of the way that your sounds are changing. Your openness, your air, you're becoming more confident. Sergio, slow down. Read one sound at a time and stop saying I can't. Don't do that. I can. Maybe I can do it slowly, but I can do it. You need to tell yourself you can. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else, guys? You you did wonderfully. And get ready because we are re-recording at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the week. I think Syracuse is going somewhere. What? Uh, he's going on vacation, I think. Syracuse. Oh, Sergio! When are you leaving? We can't. Um, the day after t today's Monday is going to be uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday. So, are you going to be in class on Thursday? No, I'm going to Cancun. Oh, I'm so jealous. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so Sergio, we need to get you to record on Wednesday. Are you going to be in class on Wednesday? Yes, of course. Okay, so uh, please remind me that you need to do it on Wednesday. Okay. Because I do want you to do it before I leave. Good Lord. You have to do it before I leave. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you. Have a good night. You did great. Bye. Take okay. care. Okay. Bye-bye.